Well, it's finally happened. Apple has finally announced Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for the iPad. So let's jump into it. Hey, welcome to the video. So Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, of course, are some of the main apps that a lot of professional and video creators use to get their projects done, including myself. And today, Apple have announced for us today that they are bringing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro to the iPads. Now, there are a few caveats and a few things we need to look at, so I'm gonna talk about that in this video, but let's jump into it. Now, the first thing is, it's not out until the 26th of May. So as soon as we can get our hands on it, we will give it a full review. But the second issue is it's not actually gonna be free, even if you're a Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro user. It's gonna be a subscription-based model at $4.99 a month or $49 for the entire year. Has that put you off? And what do you think about the subscription model? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, so we're mainly gonna talk about Final Cut Pro in this video. So let's talk about some of the finer things. What are the things they're adding to this version of Final Cut Pro? Well, the first thing is a digital jog wheel they're gonna to add to the right-hand side of the screen. And this is gonna allow you, like a real jog wheel, to make fine adjustments, shuttle through your footage, and move clips around your timeline. Secondly, there's a live drawing feature. It means you're gonna be able to grab your Apple Pencil, literally draw into Final Cut, maybe create your own text or titles, and then Final Cut Pro is gonna animate that. It looks really good here on the Apple demos, but I really wanna get my hands on this to see how well it works in the real world. But it does mean we're gonna be able to create some really cool animations without using other programs like After Effects or Apple Motion. Next, something I'm super excited about is Apple has announced they will be supporting full keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro. So yes, that definitely means at Editor's Keys, we are gonna be producing a brand new Final Cut Pro keyboard cover for the Apple iPad keyboards for the Magic and the Smart Keyboard covers. They're not out yet, of course, but if you want one, make sure to join our mailing list. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see that. The keyboard shortcuts will, of course, also work uh, on an external keyboard, so if you wanna plug in your full Editor's Keys backlit keyboard or an Apple keyboard, they will work and all of the keyboard shortcuts will work there too. So it does mean you are gonna be able to do some desktop style editing directly on the iPad. The next feature that was shown off was the scene removal mask. Now, this is a bit like green screen, but without the need of a green screen. So you might have seen the new feature in the iPhones where you can just tap and hold on yourself. Maybe there's a, a selfie of yourself and it will cut you out. It seems like Apple has brought this technology into video. So you could be presenting like I am in front of a very complex wall like this and Final Cut Pro for the iPad should be able to just draw you out like a green screen and then you can animate yourself, put yourself with a different background. It's gonna be interesting to see how well this works. Is it gonna be more like a Zoom call or is Apple gonna be able to make this as good as the iPhone version, which I think actually cuts out pretty well. There's also a new auto crop feature, which is gonna help if you're bringing in say 16 by nine footage and you wanna use that for vertical video. Again, they have something very similar in the desktop version of Final Cut Pro, so it'll be interesting to see what this one looks like. They're also bringing in the voice isolation tool from the desktop. This is a very recent tool, which if you've used it, you'll know how well this works. If you're in an echoey room or a noisy room, you can just turn this on, adjust your slider, and it really does a fantastic job of removing background noise and isolating your voice. They're bringing that feature to the iPad. I use that feature a ton, so I'm super glad that's here. The app is also gonna include a whole host of new graphics and templates. So it'll be interesting to go through those when they come out and see if they are the ones that are already in Final Cut or if we have some brand new ones to play around with. So it says media can be imported from any camera or SD card directly into the Files app on the iPad or the Photos app. Now, I really hope they add external SSD drive support because I don't know any pro that wants to import hours of footage into the Files or the Photos app and edit that way. All I can see is that in Final Cut Pro, you're gonna be able to pull the media from there, a bit like iMovie, into your project that way. So I'm really, really hoping that Apple is gonna add support for external hard drives. For me, that could be a bit of a deal breaker. Now, if you wanna learn more about this, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we will be doing a full review. We'll be putting it through its paces. I am super stoked and super excited about this. Let me know if you are, and let me know what you think about that subscription model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.